Hey guys, Waterfaller41 here, and in today's video, we're gonna be modifying my OZ USA LED pods. So a couple videos back, I installed these two by two LED pods, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side, using some Z-Road hood hinge brackets. So these are brackets that put the LED right up on the A-pillar, and then they tuck around, and they use the hood hinge to mount it, and then I ran the cable, obviously driving it through my Trigger 4 Plus. But I got this crazy idea the other day when I was looking at my truck. I figure, hey, a couple videos back, I installed some yellow Laminex film covers on my fog lights, and I absolutely love the look of these. And I thought, hey, it would be pretty sweet if I did the same thing to these LED pods. Plus, all the cool kids are using amber pods, so I figure I wanna be one of the cool kids, so I'll follow suit here. So enter Laminex. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I'm a pretty big fan of the Laminex product. I love how thick these films are and how super easy they are to work with and install. So I picked up their two by two kit. So this kit's about $8 and it uses, or it's a, it's cut specifically to fit on two by two LED uh, pods. Now most pods are pretty consistent that the internal side size of the lens itself is two inches by two inches. So you can get them in any color that Lamin XL is. You can get them in uh, a tinted, a darker tint, uh, any red, green, amber, purple, whatever. So I bought them in yellow to match my LED fog lights because my fog lights, when I turn those on, it has a nice yellow hue to it. And it actually looks really tasteful on the, on the Rebel. So I figure why not do the same thing with these lights? Plus, if you remember, these lights have two functions. One, they're also, they're my ditch lights. So these four LEDs are really bright and they, they basically wash the ditch with a spotlight. But when I turn my truck on, so let's do that real quick, or at least turn the lights on. So you can see the DRL function is on, on my headlights. So if you look close at the LED pods, you see that the DRL function on the pod is on. So there's a little LED here that illuminates this cross reflector and gives it a really cool ambiance look. It's not as bright as the camera makes it seem, but if you zoom in real close, you see there's one little LED, I think it's a three watt LED right in the center of the pod that gives it a nice ambiance. So let's do this real quick. Let's turn my lights on. So you can see up against my garage door, you have my yellow Laminex covers on my OEM fog lights. So it gives it a nice yellow hue. Very good cut off on that one. So my plan is to do the same thing with these guys. Since they're on on the DRL function, it'll be a nice match between this light and my fog light. Kind of a cool look on the front end of the Ram. So let's talk through the process here. So we have our LED light or our LED pod. First thing I need to do is clean this. I can feel bugs on it right now. So what I'll do is take some isopropyl alcohol and wipe the heck out of this stuff. Then the second thing I'm gonna do is I need to modify these just a little bit. So as far as width, they fit perfectly on the LED. But if you look really closely, you can see that the lens itself is kind of rounded up here. So what I'm gonna do is chamfer the corners here with a scissors, just kind of cut a little tiny uh, piece of the edge off just to make sure it's rounded enough to fit on there and not leave any exposed edges. I don't want these things in the winter. If my truck's outside, you get rain on it, that rain will freeze. I don't want to get any of that water underneath the Laminex layer here and then ruin it. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll cut it so it's just a little bit short of the, the lens itself and it fits nicely on here. You won't see it unless you look really closely that it doesn't cover the whole lens, but I want to do that just to be safe and not leave any exposed edges. So obviously I'll need scissors to do that. Isopropyl alcohol to clean everything, a microfiber to be clean it as well. And then again, if you follow my video, you know I'm a kind of a creature of habit, or if you follow my channel, you know I'm a creature of habit. So rap attack, we're gonna do a wet method on this guy. So I'm gonna spray it a few times, maybe once or twice with rap attack. That way, once I peel the backing off this bad boy, I can get it thrown on here and then I can move it around to get it centered exactly where I need. I'll use this little guy, this little uh, um, squeegee to get what I can of the film out of there. And then we'll hit it with some heat and make sure the rest of it's evaporated. I'm not driving my truck for a while here, so uh, we'll get what we can out of it and then we'll just let the, the, let the rest dry. Okay, so I went ahead and cleaned off the lens the best I could with isopropyl, got everything off there, got all that gunk, I had a bug on there, so that's all clean. So next thing we're gonna do is take our wrap attack and I'm gonna spray uh, pretty liberal amount on here and really what we're trying to do is make a nice layer 
So when I put the film on there, let's see, when I take the film off the backing and I put it on the light, I have some freedom to move it around where I need it. And then from there, once that's on there, I'll take the squeegee and try to get what I can off of there. This is a little big for what I'm trying to do. I might grab a credit card or an old gift card or whatnot to try to get into the crease. I mean, it needs to be two inches, so a credit card might work perfect. Um, but I also went ahead and trimmed the corners. So if you look here, I trimmed the corners a little bit on here just to make up for the fact that these are going to be rounded. These are rounded corners on the lens. Again, I didn't want to have any of the film itself hanging off there. I might have some of it, but uh, I tried to do the best I could to get the rest of it out there. So that's all we'll do on that. All right, so we got the lens cover or film cover installed. So basically what I'm gonna do is just trying to work all of that fluid out of there. It took a little bit more fluid than I thought it would, but uh, it is what it is. So got it on there, it looks good. So outside of a squeegee, a microfiber is one of the best things you could use to get all that fluid out of there because um, it doesn't scratch anything. And as you push the fluid out, it actually soaks it up. So it does two things. All right, that's it. It is good, it looks awesome. You can't even see the, the corners that I trimmed. So let's go ahead and fire up the DRL. See what that bad boy looks like. Oh, sweet. So that'll match the fog lights nicely. It's got that nice yellow hinge to it. Let's get a little bit closer. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the passenger side and then we'll fire these guys up to full blast and take a look at what these look like compared to my fog lights. Do these match as far as the yellow output? Um, I think they do pretty closely, but um, super easy to install. Again, they make these for the two by two pods all the way up to, I think the 54 inch or 60 inch light bars. So um, definitely check them out. I will leave a coupon code link or a link to a coupon code in the description below. That'll get you 20% off of pretty much anything on Laminex's website. So uh, pretty good deal considering this is eight bucks. So 20% 20, 20 off that is not a bad deal. All right, we are on the passenger side. So let's walk through this step by step. So the first thing I did was clean it. Second thing I'm gonna do is give it a few good blasts of rap attack. And then I trimmed my light on the corners here. That way it would make up for the rounded corners on the lens itself. And then the last thing we're gonna do is install this guy pull that aside go get it lined up side to side get a little bit more on there for a reason this stuff is uh, sticking pretty good tonight which is good but it does make it harder to work with all right, so we finished up the Laminex install on the fog light. So you can see that one is installed. It was a good idea to cut those corners because they fit nicely over the rounded corners of the actual plastic lens on the LED pod. So we got our driver's side there and our passenger side over here. So they look good when the truck is in the off position. So let's go ahead and fire them up and turn them on the DRL function. So remember, that's the function that turns on when my truck turns on initially. So there you go. And if you zoom in closely, like I said, it's not as bright as you think it would be. It's just a single LED in there that's reflecting off everything. So you got that, looks pretty tasteful next to the truck. And it, it matches the fog light spot on. So now we're gonna go ahead and fire it up for the brightness. So go ahead and hit it. All right, and awesome. Super amber look to it. Uh, you can definitely see it on the bushes over there uh, as far as it's shining and you can see the other one way over there shining up my neighbor's house and my wife's car is certainly a yellow tinge from the other ditch light. All right, while we're on the topic of lights, my son is going to show us how we use the Bluetooth Trigger 4 Plus app. So if you look at the screen here, I have my lower grill, my ditch lights, my reverse lights, and the Jectocito. Fourth channel right now is not controlling anything. so. He is going to go ahead and hit that top one to turn on the lower grill light bar. Boom. Instant response. So go ahead. Keep hitting it. So he hits it on and off, on and off. Very quick response. So the Bluetooth on the Trigger 4 Plus is awesome. Go ahead and hit those ditch lights. Hits the ditch lights and they're on. Hit the lower light bar. 
Top one? Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, turn on the ditch lights and the lower light bar. Okay. There you go. Very cool. All right, turn those off. All right, now flip that switch. So the other thing you could do with this guy is you could flip this switch here. Ooh, let's just do the ditch lights. So if you flip that switch there, that gives you the strobe effect. So hit that one right. So then you can have strobes. I don't know why I need it, but I have the functionality. All right, well, that is it. That's how you use the Trigger 4 Plus app. That's how you install the Laminex film on 2x2 LED pods. That same process would work with pretty much any straight lens LED pod or LED light itself. But again, definitely check them out. I'll leave the coupon code down in the description below, 20% off, works awesome. And we're gonna keep getting blinded until we turn everything off. But with that said, we'll say thank you very much for watching. What do you say? Uh, thank you for watching. Take care.